Hi, Mother Truckers. BP Hero back at you here today with a Throwback Thursday episode, and this one's a little different. Um, if you know me on like a personal level at all, <laughs> you'll know that like I'm I'm not a very like emotional person. I just don't show a lot of like personal emotion towards things, and uh, I'm unbagging some crap here. So uh, skip to this point in the video if you just want to see the bat swings. <laughs> But I'm going somewhere with this story. So this bat came to me from John over at Batflip BP. Um, I sent him a bat to do some swings with. It was the Pure Indium one. And it had a questionable spot on it when I sent it out. And he gets to swing it a little bit and found out the bat was actually cracked. He ended up swinging it until it was cracked. I was like, yeah, dude, go for it. You know, it don't matter. Just send it. And he did. And he sent me something in return. Didn't say what. But he sent me a nice little something in the mail. Uh, it is a sorry for breaking your bat, which is very cool of him because I told him it didn't matter. So I really do appreciate him, uh, you know, doing what he thought was right and making the situation right. John's a great guy. If you haven't checked out his channel, I don't know what you're doing. But anyway, so he sends me this and a nice little heartfelt note. Uh, basically like, hey, sorry, I had this thing and, and I hope you get some use out of it. Uh, I know it's one of the oldies and you like doing the throwbacks. So... This one kind of got me a little bit. I didn't know what was in the box. I pulled it out and got to looking. I read the note, and then um, I just kind of got into a sappy bag of crap. <laughs> I've had this bat for a while, and I've been putting this off because uh, I just don't like processing and, and, and kind of unbagging uh, emotional stuff. But this immediately made me think of uh, our late friend, uh, DJ Oaks. If you remember Oil Slick 58 from Softball Fans, uh, DJ Oaks was his name. He's a dude from Tennessee. Super great dude. He was a huge nut for the Ripper Reapers and the Albert Incinerators. It was all kind of part of the combat family of things because this bat was made by CE Composites, which is who made combats. So you can see by the end cap there, hopefully it kind of comes out. This thing looks spit an image like a combat, but with uh, Rip, it's kind of twist on things. These bats are really good, and DJ liked them a lot. These in the Albert Incinerators, he just went absolutely crazy for. And kind of getting to know DJ through the years from the combatants group and everything, I got to be pretty close with the guy. We exchanged phone numbers. We would talk once or twice a month, sometimes even more than that. And uh, he lost his significant other, and she meant a lot to him. And although he did get better as time went on, he still loved her very much so and um, shared things on social media and talked about her uh, still a decent bit because he, he loved her very much and he missed her. And, and unfortunately, he has passed away. Uh, it's been a, a few years now, but... Uh, he was a dear friend of mine, and I deeply regret uh, not ever personally meeting him. We talked on the phone so many times. We tried to meet up a couple different times. It's never worked out. Um, softball fans is a crazy place, and it's kind of what uh, brought all this channel on and everything. And he was uh, one of the big ones to kind of get me started in some of this stuff. He's like, you know, forget these guys, man. Just go out and do your thing. You know, you're a good guy. We know you mean well, and, you know, you're, you're good for the brain. You're knowledgeable and all that stuff. I mean, he, he was so cool, man. And anybody that had the pleasure of talking to him, I hope you feel the same way because DJ was freaking awesome. Um, try not to get emotional again here because this is the second time I had to do this. The wind absolutely destroyed me trying to do this at the field. <sighs> Rip it, Reaper. ASA for you, DJ. All right, so sorry for the bit of a sappy intro there. Um, <laughs> I don't put myself out there on YouTube like that very often, but uh, for this one, I felt like it would be an injustice not to just because of the uh, impact that DJ had on me uh, throughout the years. Just a super sad deal for such a good dude. Um, if it was possible to die of a broken heart, that's that's probably what got DJ. Um, I'm, I'm done talking about that, though. Let's Let's throw it back to 2008. For the old Rip It Reaper here. This is 2004 ASA stamped. And we are hitting everything that's hard. We got some old 47 cores. Uh, we got some 44 cores. It's, I mean, if it's hard, it's in this bag and we're hitting it. Uh, there's, you know, some of this stuff mixed in the bag that we try not to hit with the bats we review because we don't want to break them. But for this thing, that's what it's meant for. And we just went kind of full send with it. And it sounds nasty. It hit the crap out of the ball. It is, has a slight inload to it. These were pretty fun to swing. 
and it had been so long since I'd hit a, a rip it that this was kind of a nice little stroll down memory lane. So huge thanks to John for sending this to us. And I do want you guys to kind of check out here real quick. If a bat could tell stories, I'd like to know how many this could tell. Look at all these stamps and stickers and stuff uh, from this thing pass and testing so it could be used. Uh, so how cool is that? Like you ever just see something kind of like old and nostalgic looking that you're like, man, I bet that thing could tell some stories and it's been some places and it's seen some things. That's this bat. And it's hit some softball some places. I can tell you that for sure. Absolutely gas. This thing would probably still be viable with 52s even just because of how well it hits the ball. You know, I am a big proponent of 52s rely on how they're hit, not what they're hit with. But even still, sometimes it's a feedback thing. And as good as this thing feels, I bet it'd feel good hitting dang near anything you felt like throwing at it. So I'm going to hush up and let you check out the rest of this little throwback here. A huge thanks to John for sending this out. Um, shout out to my buddy DJ. We miss you, buddy. Sweetheart, in case you hit it, enjoy the rest of the video. BP here. Catch you next time.